Okay, welcome to part two of the basics of editing vocals in Cakewalk Sonar. So let's go to audio effects and in my computer it's under shared plugins Sonitas Reverb. They have a fairly decent sounding reverb in here. So let's just go presets, Sonitas, let's just set it for we don't want venue, that would be a big a big sounding reverb, large hall, drum room default. Let's go to default. Okay, you can see that's not a bad sounding reverb. You said it was over. Okay, and now let's take that off solo. When you hit the solo button, all you hear is the one track by itself. If you hit solo up here, that solos all the tracks. If you hit mute, that mutes all the tracks. If you need that for any reason. Or if you want to hit mute, mute all the tracks and then you want to hear one by itself, then you can unmute that one. It's just a quick way to do it. So I'm going to hit mute and it pulls it all off. Now, let's go to background vocal. So let's say, let's find a high background. Here are two high backgrounds. These are the high background part and here is the high background stack which is the same vocal sung again exactly like the first one it just thickens it up by having two two of them so we will put I'm gonna center this the panning center the panning on this one and see what we got here rocking my shoe he's a thorn in my side you keep trying to burn bridges, he keeps fighting the fire. A little squirrely part there, okay. But they sound good blended in with everybody. So let's take those two parts. That's the chorus. He's a rockin' my sh And Well sometimes I Okay, so just for the sake of you learning how to do this or me showing you how I do it, I'm gonna highlight those two. I hit S splits the track so I'm gonna take this and pull it in by grabbing it and holding down my mouse button this is actually the bridge so let's practice copying and pasting okay so right here I'm gonna make a mark insert marker and I'm gonna say chorus type it in C H O R U S now I'm gonna highlight these by just holding the mouse button down and highlight, you know, just touching these. And then I can pull this in, holding the mouse button down, trim it up. That way, all I've got right there is that little, is the high or the background vocals, um, the high part. So now I'm going to highlight those. Select Control C to copy. This little window comes up. Click OK. Go over here to Chorus and I'm going to highlight four so it will go to track four and I'm gonna go control V now I'm at track it says I'm gonna copy them on the track four paste to one track defaults and comes up I don't want to paste it to one track I want to paste it two tracks so I unclick that hit this and there's your pasted backgrounds now I'm gonna hit the plus sign down here to zoom in so I can try to put these at the right spot and I'm gonna hit solo on Rodney's track so I can so I can lock it up with Rodney and most likely you're rocking my shoe uh, I think we're a little bit behind so I'm gonna trim off the front part you're rocking, you're rocking my shoe okay I'm behind I'm gonna scoot this up probably uh, zoom in a little better you're rocking okay that's the word rock uh, most likely we are pretty close to on the money right there. Oops. But to select this and select that, you just um, hit that, take your mouse and click there, then hold down Shift or Control and hit there. Click there and it will highlight both of them. That way whatever you do will affect both of them. It looks to me like okay I think they're pretty much synced up there so now we have copied and pasted 
So now we have, let's pull in the track. I'm going to hit mute on everything. And then I'm going to go back and go unmute the track, unmute Rodney, unmute the two high backgrounds. And now I've got a track. Rodney's a bit loud, so I'm going to pull Rodney down a little. Okay, we got those chorus vocals. Come over here to the next chorus, and you just repeat that. That's all you have to do to repeat it. Just copy and paste them to another place. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been the basics of editing vocals in Cakewalk Sonar Part 2. Stay tuned for Part 3. If any of you guys need some Zoom audio products, please contact us at byprosound.net. And for more videos like this, go to dannyjonline.com. And we'll see you at the next video. Thank you.